Yo, oh, what's up everyone? So we're going to be having a chat about the details and stuff of the two times and three times money events that are going on in GT Online this week. I was going to do these in three separate videos, um, but there's not enough there, in my opinion, to make three separate videos about it. So I thought I'll whack it all into one video we're going to start off with the only the one that i haven't got any footage for and that's the lamar missions but i have done them in the past they are basically like any ordinary mission um you basically start in one location go to another take out some people take out one guy leave the area simple as that basically that is pretty much all the lamar missions are they're basically just normal contact missions by him you do have some um, some outfits that you can choose from to do in the mission and there are set cars that you have to use being low riders but apart from that they are the, basically the same as any other mission really the three times money in RP event is the mini races um, as I said in the event week video that this these races are going to be very slow um, and you can't just do one lap. I had a go yesterday setting up a race and it wouldn't let me do it as one lap. I had to do it as three. I think some of them may be two but you can't do them as one. Um, I did do three laps on, I can't remember what it's called, but it was very long. It took me about nearly around ten minutes to do three laps. Uh, money wise there was me plus three others and I got 30 I want to say 33,000 so it's that was only with three people so if you get a full 16 or 30 player um, race in there and you come first you're going to be winning a lot but like I said these are very slow uh, the handling's a bit weird on these cars being there's a lot of understeer and there's a lot of turns where if you go around it with the understeer you can slide off the track very easily they're very easily to spin off other cars so yeah they're very uh i wouldn't say unpredictable but they are a bit they're, they're a bit funny when it comes to handling um, there's a handful of races, six or seven I think, all very different. They've all got boosts in them. If they didn't, these races would uh, it'd probably take about ten minutes to do one lap. Um, and none of them, I believe, are on the ground. They're all on like custom-made tracks. Some of them do transition from track to ground, um, but majority of it will be on a custom-made track. Now the other two times money event being um, Adrezo's dispatch missions. Again, these are all similar to the Lamar ones, but these are much much easier. However, you must do it with two people. You can't do it on your own, which sucks. But it's quite easy to get another person. You just open it up in a public lobby. Just invite all auto invite all from current session you will get someone or if you want to do them just randomly do it on on call and then just wait until whoever is host starts the mission and then boom you're away uh, I want to say the six uh, excuse me if I'm wrong but six missions all involving starting from one place and taking out either one or a number of people depends which one you're doing uh, there's one I did do I think three which I'll show you I uh, can't remember which order but there's one where you have to go to the recycling plant uh, you got two ways to go in you've got a front door or a back door which is in the actual like yard itself go in the back door with the yard because it'll be much easier because the guy that you're going for is kind of more at the rear entrance so the game kind of thinks you it wants you to go in through the front entrance and then the guy you're getting runs out the back gets in a car drives away kind of thing while you're still running through the factory 
Uh, if you go in through the rear entrance, he kind of doesn't move. He kind of just stands there in one room shooting at you rather than running away. So, that one. Uh, the other one is you got to go to the airport and take out someone in a plane. However, if you get there quick enough, uh, the plane will still be in the hangar while you're firing at it. I will suggest um, doing or using a vehicle that can fly and has missiles, being either the Deluxo, Oppressor, Oppressor Mark II, uh, Scramjet, stuff like that. That kind, of, those, those kind of vehicles. Just because it'll make it much quicker. Probably the best one to use is probably the Oppressor Mark II if you've got it. If not, probably the Deluxo. But it's whatever works better for you. But yeah, when you get to the airport, either, whatever, depends on what vehicle you're using, either you'll be able to shoot the guy that you were trying to get to, or as you get there, he'll be getting in the plane to fly off. Uh, there is a lot of people by the hangar that he is in, so you're going to have to be quick about it. Um, and the last one is, um, ah, no, it, right, yeah, the last one is you go into the Merriweather base, or the Merriweather docks, anyway, and you have to go to a room in an office on the very top floor and take out a guy and leave the area, like any other one of these dispatch missions. Now, this one's a bit difficult because you can't drive in and you can't walk in because the driving route and the walk-in route are both blocked. So you will have to walk around the very edge of the actual dock itself, crouching up against the wall and kind of shimmying along a ledge, Assassin's Creed style, into the back of the the docks uh, and again there's a lot of people the Merriweather with insane accuracy how why they have the insane accuracy I don't know it might be because I was doing this on hard but the guy that you are after is when you get to the very end of the docks that you go at there should be a helicopter I think it's called a Valkyrie um, the room that you're going for is on the very top floor at the opposite end of the docks that you're standing in. You should see some like little windows. Um, basically, it's in there that you got to get. Luckily, there's no key code you have to do. There's no hacking to get into the actual office. I would suggest shoot the door open just in case there is one guy just waiting behind the door. But, yeah, you just go in there. Shoot the guy and you get out. Again, easier if you've got a car that flies and has missiles. So, because there is a lot and they do keep spawning, annoyingly. So, but yeah, those are th those are the three of the dispatch missions. Anyway, like I said, there's like six or seven. But those are the two times and three times money opportunities this week. So, I would probably suggest you guys trying to make the most of them. Uh, Money-wise for the dispatch missions, I got thirty thousand in one of them, uh, thirteen thousand in another, which was one that I did quite quickly. So this is a the quicker you do it, the less money you get based game. So I'd suggest if you're in an oppressor mark two and you get there first, wait, just wait until, um, wait until the other guys get there. Also, another one that I did, I actually think I did four, not three was a police station one, you got to go to the police station in Los Santos and go in there, get stuff, maybe kill someone, go out, leave the area. Again, very basic, very simple. But those are the events going on, those are the money, times is amount and like I said, make the most of them because this is probably a, this is one of the easiest ways to get money when it comes to the two times and three times money events is when they have contact missions because they're very simple to do, they're very quick so it should be very easy to rack up the money quite quickly so hope you all enjoyed, please leave a like if you did, comment any suggestions or any thoughts on what you've got 
going on this week if you're going to be doing them or if you've got your own little things going on uh, and obviously don't forget to subscribe if you do enjoy to and if you do enjoy to and go on to continue to enjoy anything I upload onto the channel then obviously do not forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when any uploads or updates are on leash to the channel and I will see you all in the next one